Welcome back to the American Family Survival Channel. I'm Jeffrey Snipes and I'm here with you today to, to discuss a brewing tropical storm that may threaten the Bahamas, Florida um, as a hurricane. Uh, please remember to visit the American Family Survival Store for all your family's survival needs uh, where we feature SD bullion, uh, gold, silver, and lead bullion as well as um, information uh, and insurance and training from the USCCA, the United uh, States Concealed Carry Association. And uh, okay, so folks, today we have a budding tropical disturbance um, and that has the potential to strengthen significantly and reach Florida and the Bahamas uh, with strong winds, coastal flooding, and torrential rainfall during Sunday and Monday. Uh, only one of two Atlantic tropical systems poses a significant threat to land during the next 10 days. Uh, that system, dubbed 99L, has the potential to become a Tropical Depression 8 and Tropical Storm Hermine this week. Um, this is a picture of what that looks like right now, if you can get a good idea. What that, uh, that's, what, that's the mess out there that we're looking at right now. Okay. And um, the disturbance currently located about 1,000 miles uh, southeast of Miami is forecast to take a general west to west northwest path near uh, Hispanola on Thursday. The exact track of 99L will have a big impact on where the system strengthens, according to AccuWeather hurricane expert Dan uh, Kotlowski. Uh, interaction with the mountains, mountainous terrain in Puerto Rico and Hispanola will cap the strengthening potential through Thursday. Uh, recall that last year Erica struggled with the large islands in the Caribbean and diminished upon interacting with Hispaniola. Um, however, given the circumstances this time, uh, the system could become Tropical Depression 8, followed by a tropical storm at any time this week. That especially if the center of the storm stays north of Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. Uh, so this is what we're looking at. If you can get a good idea, it kind of gives you a closer look at everything that we're looking at currently and uh, 99L has the potential to become very well organized uh, southeast of Florida this weekend Kotlowski said rapid strengthening uh, is possible if the system stays north of the coast of Cuba this weekend in which case the system could become a hurricane upon or prior to approaching Florida waters if the system ends up tracking over Cuba then significant strengthening could be delayed further uh, the last hurricane to strike the Florida Peninsula was Wilma uh, during October 2005, Kotlowski said. And uh, so that's what we're looking at. And um, uh, Wilma, Wilma made landfall near Cape Romano, Florida uh, with winds of 120 miles an hour on October 24th. Uh, the last uh, hurricane to strike the Florida Peninsula during August was Katrina in 2005. Katrina was also the last hurricane to strike the Florida Peninsula from a southeasterly direction, Kotlowski said, the intensity of the, intensity of the skulls, uh, of the squalls, winds, and seas will depend on how quickly 99L strength is along the way. Uh, regardless of the strength, uh, 99L gusty showers, thunderstorms, and rough seas will spread westward. Uh, rip currents will also increase in strength and number. Uh, flash flooding and mudslides will be a more immediate concern from the Virgin Islands to Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. Uh, seas could become very dangerous. Uh, all you mariners out there, please take heed, uh, especially for small craft from the northeastern coast of Cuba uh, through much of the Bahamas during Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All people living and having interest in around the Bahamas, Cuba, and Florida should closely monitor the movement of this evolving tropical system through this weekend, Kotlowski said. On Sunday, people along the southeast coast of the Florida Peninsula, the Florida Keys, and northern Cuba should be prepared for deteriorating weather and sea conditions. Uh, squalls could increase in seas and surf may get rough. Depending on the strength of 99L, there is the possibility of power outages uh, and property damage from gusty winds and, and flooding. Property owners in the potential path may want to consider taking preventative measures well ahead of the system's approach. For example, locate storm shutters and make sure the generator is operational. Uh, during the first part of next week, a path north of Florida just off the Atlantic coast of the United States is likely to be blocked, according to AccuWeather senior meteorologist Bernie Reno. Because of this, 99L could be steered into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. 